It's coming up to 6.30. As the cost of living rises, charities say they are helping more families than ever with free school uniforms. Uh, let's go to Ben now, who is at an exchange in Yorkshire to find out more. Morning, Ben. Good morning. Yes, this is the Uniform Exchange in Huddersfield. Uh, they've got everything here. They've got sweatshirts, they've got cardigans, they've got polo shirts, trousers, the lot. And volunteers like Abio are sorting through the items as they do every day. And the key thing about it is that everything here is provided to families for free. And that's really important because the costs for school uniforms really add up. One estimate suggests that... Uh, the average primary school uniform is £315 per child. That's including PE kit and everything. For secondary school children, the average is £340. And as a result, one charity thinks something like 780,000 children are wearing uniforms that do not fit properly because families simply can't afford to keep buying new ones. Places like this have seen a jump in the number of families turning to them for help. And it's not just here in Huddersfield, but right around the UK, as we've been finding out. Here. At this centre in Cardiff, the shelves are piled high. From shoes to blazers, everything here is free. Basically, I was struggling to put uniform on my son so he could go to school like everybody else does. I came up with a, an idea to approach the school he was going to and ask if they had any surplus uniform that we could utilise to give to other parents. It was a very small handful of desks but it worked and people did start coming in and they made it clear that it was getting more and more difficult for them to afford uniform. In Hull, we catch up with the Hebb family. With three children to buy for, the costs soon add up. Well, we've got primary school that are kind of like a colour, so you can go to the general supermarkets yeah. and buy the colour that goes. But then we've got the high schools, so obviously the blazers, the PE kits, it's all got to be badged. This centre in Plymouth helped 500 families last year. This year, they think that number will double. With fuel going up and all the different uh, bills that we have to pay, now it's become quite, you know, expensive. So places like this, absolute godsend. I've never known anything like it, actually. It's fantastic. What a brilliant service. I mean, it's, yeah, what, what can you say? It's something that I've never, never used before. Um, almost felt bad for using it. Hopefully we'll make things a little bit easier this year. <laughs> From September, new government statutory guidance kicks in. It says schools need to ensure uniform costs are reasonable. They should remove unnecessary branded items and provide more high street options. And they should ensure second-hand uniforms are available. Schools are required to implement the legislation right now for this September. And if parents think that their school uniform policy hasn't changed in their local school, they should contact the head teacher and ask why. Feeling that, they should contact the governing body of the school and ask why. And feeling that, they should contact their MP or the Department for Education, who can write to the school and require them to follow the legislation. Finished. Let's go. You want to put it in mum's bag? We'll put it in this bag. For now, with the rising cost of living already biting for so many families, services like this are proving a vital support. Well, Margaret is one of the volunteers here and is sorting through the items. Margaret, um, these are items that get washed, so they're ready and clean for well, we families to collect. We check them for washing and yep. rags, and then they're sorted, and the clean ones get put there. Packed up, ready for families to collect. How did you get involved? Um, I used to do knitted articles, and then I brought them in, and Kate said, I just said to Kate, do you need volunteers? And she said, oh, yes, please. That's Kate who runs the uh, yes, exchange. Yes. We'll be hearing from her later. Yeah. Margaret, we'll let you crack on. You've got a lot to sort through there. Um, another of the volunteers here is Karen, who's pairing the shoes. Have a look there. Um, Karen, why do you feel it's so important for this uh, to, to provide the service it does? So as a person that's had lived experience of being in poverty myself, um, it's, it's a vital resource for families. And I'm actually one of the trustees, so it's a, a real passion of mine to support families in this way. OK, Karen, again, you've got plenty to sort through. We'll leave you uh, to do your stuff. And let's talk more broadly about the pressures on families now. We can speak to Charlie Taylor, who's from the Welcome Centre. Um, Charlie, you help families that are struggling with, uh, with the cost of living crisis. Yeah. What kind of picture are you getting in, in Huddersfield at the moment? So our referrals are increasing. Um, obviously, there's a lot more people that are in um, poverty and they are struggling to afford food and other essential items like toiletries and cleaning products and we're, we're assisting with, with us. 
Um, and who's coming to you? What sort of families? So our referrals now are changing. We're, we're assisting a lot more families. Um, it used to be single people, but now we're, we're unfortunately having to deal with um, a lot more families. And, and what would happen if free uniform centres this, like this, the uniform exchange, didn't exist? If we didn't exist, I dread to think what would happen. Um, obviously, we are, you know, really supporting the people that are having crisis at the moment, and you know, we we are trying our best to assist so many people. So yeah, if we didn't exist, then like I say, it would be, um, well, yeah. Yeah, of course. Charlie, thank you very much uh, for speaking to us this morning. And at this time, yeah, it's a real worry for so many families, isn't it? The cost of school uniforms, especially when you add in all the extras, you know, the, the, the shoes when the new pair of shoes is needed, the, the PE kit, all of that, it all adds up. It's why places like this and volunteers like these provide such a vital, vital service to so many. Absolutely. Ben, thank you very much. 25 past seven. And as the cost of living rises, charities say they're helping more and more families than ever before with free school uniforms. Yeah, Ben is at an exchange in Yorkshire to find out more for us this morning. Ben. Yes, it's a really expensive time of year for families, isn't it? And especially this time round with all those other cost of living pressures. This is the uniform exchange in Huddersfield. It helps thousands of children every year, families. It provides them with free school uniforms. And it's not just that the school uniforms are free, they do checks as well. Look at this diagram here. The volunteers look for things to make sure the zips and the fasteners work, that the belt loops and buttons are there, that the hems aren't frayed. Because, yes, it's important that it's free, but also you don't want something that the children are going to be embarrassed to wear to school. This whole place is run by volunteers. Among them working hard this morning, we've got uh, Marina and her mum, Chris. Uh, Marina, what got you involved? Uh, well, I'm a mum of four boys, and boys just get through uniform at an absolute rate of knots. And one of my kids has special needs as well, so he went to three different high schools in Huddersfield. So the cost of uniform was just phenomenal. So um, coming along to uh, Uniform Exchange, getting a set of uniform, and then a year later he'd be in a different high school, mm. bring the old uniform back, get a new set of uniform. It's an absolute godsend for me. Brilliant. You benefited from it and now you're giving something back. Absolutely. You've got plenty to get through. Your work is cut out. We'll let you crack on. Thank, Thank you very you. much. And we'll be finding out a lot more about how this works and how it's helping so many families, especially at this time of year. But for now, let's get the news, travel and weather wherever you are this morning. As the cost of living rises, charities say they are helping more families than ever before with free school uniforms. Yeah, Ben's at an exchange for school uniforms for us this morning in Yorkshire to find out more. And this will resonate with so many families all over the UK right now. Ben, morning. Good morning. Yes, it really will. It's an expensive time of year, but especially with all those additional cost of living pressures really squeezing household budgets. This is the Uniform Exchange in Huddersfield. They've got every possible item you could need. Look, they've got sweatshirts. They've got what have we got here? They've got school trousers next along. They've got polo shirts, every item that a school uniform requires, PE kit as well. And the important thing about it is that all of this is provided to families completely free. And it's important because the costs when it comes to school uniform very quickly add up. It's thought that on average, uh, a primary school child's uniform will cost £315 in total. That's with PE kit and everything as well. For secondary school children, it's an average of £340. And because of those costs, one charity thinks something like 780,000 children around the UK are wearing uniforms that just do not fit them properly because families can't afford to keep replacing them and buying new ones. And it's not just a problem here in Huddersfield in Yorkshire, but right around the UK, as we've been finding out. And more for you. At this centre in Cardiff, the shelves are piled high. From shoes to blazers, everything here is free. Basically, I was struggling to put uniform on my son so he could go to school like everybody else does. I came up with a, an idea to approach the school he was going to and ask if they had any surplus uniform that we could utilise to give to other parents. It was very small, a handful of desks, but it worked and people did start coming in and they made it clear that it was getting more and more difficult for them to afford uniform. In Hull, we catch up with the Hebb family. With three children to buy for, the costs soon add up. 
Well, we've got primary school that are kind of like a colour, so you can go to the general supermarkets yeah. and buy the colour that goes. But then we've got the high schools, so obviously the blazers, the PE kits, it's all got to be badged. This centre in Plymouth helped 500 families last year. This year, they think that number will double. With fuel going up and all the different uh, bills that we have to pay, now it's become quite, you know, expensive. So places like this, absolute godsend. I've never known anything like it, actually. It's fantastic. What a brilliant service. I mean, it's, yeah, what, what can you say? It's something that I've never, never used before. Um, almost felt bad for using it. Hopefully we'll make things a little bit easier this year. <laughs> From September, new government statutory guidance kicks in. It says schools need to ensure uniform costs are reasonable. They should remove unnecessary branded items and provide more high street options. And they should ensure second-hand uniforms are available. Schools are required to implement the legislation right now for this September. And if parents think that their school uniform policy hasn't changed in their local school, they should contact the head teacher and ask why. Feeling that, they should contact the governing body of the school and ask why. And feeling that, they should contact their MP or the Department for Education, who can write to the school and require them to follow the legislation. Finished! Let's go. You want to put it in Mum's bag? We'll put it in this bag. For now, with the rising cost of living already biting for so many families, services like this are proving a vital support. It's a very slick operation here. You can see Marina and Margaret busily sorting out the piles of uniform ready for collection. And the whole place is run by volunteers. What they're doing is checking the items that come in, making sure they're clean, that they're repaired if need be, ready to be picked up by the families who've put their orders in. Chris is one of the volunteers. Um, Chris, what got you involved? Well, my grandchildren benefited from this charity. My daughter came along to help give back and I've joined her. And you've joined the, uh, the effort. Yeah. Well, you've got plenty to, to be getting on with, so we'll let you crack on. And we've got Abio over there and Barry as well. Abio, um, why do you think something like this is so important? Solving the cost of living crisis in the UK. So many families are very happy trying to get through this. And when they come for collection, their faces are priceless with happiness on trying to get their uniforms Happiness on. And relief, I imagine. Yeah, and from Barry, the... can we just have a quick chat to you? Because yeah. your family, better. how much does it help your family? Uh, it's helped my family by uh, hundreds, uh, not just my family, friends as well. Um, you know, so my way of giving back to what, how they help me is come and volunteer and okay. get a uniform out to, uh, yeah. So. Okay. Well, we'll let you, we'll let you uh, crack on because it's been a, a busy morning. You've got plenty still to do. Let's speak to Kate France, who founded, set all of this up 11 years ago. How much have you seen the demand grow in that time, Kate? Really significant. So back in the day, t 10 years ago, we were helping hundreds and now we're helping thousands. It's, we've seen a jump just this year. We've helped an extra thousand children and it's only the summer. So it's just going to keep on growing. And when it comes to the change in the law requiring schools, for example, to take logos off uniforms, do you think that will reduce the reliance that people have on places like this? I think we'll still be needed, but it will certainly save on the pocket. And in fact, it will really help us, because at the moment, we have an item with a logo on can only go back to that family. Whereas if we see logos come off, basic PE kit. It can go to any family across Huddersfield and Kirklees, so that really helps. But I think it's really important for the pocket that we take logos off basic items like a pair of shorts and a pair of PE socks. And are logos already being taken off school uniforms? Yes, this year we've seen a significant number of our schools take them off trousers and skirts, PE shorts, a change in look with their shoes as well and not being so strict. So we've already seen our local schools help families. OK. And when it comes to running something like this, um, how do you do it? I mean, presumably you are so reliant on volunteers. Yes, we have. We have 30 or 40 volunteers here, but we see our whole community as volunteers because everybody is donating into the charity. We have like 50 tonnes of donations every year in all our boxes and things like that. But we need the volunteers and we're seeing the extra pressure this year. But we also realise that there are thousands of um, children right across the country who need the help. So if, if you know a local um, charity that's doing similar to what we're doing, I'm sure they'll need your help. OK, I'm sure it'll resonate with many people. Kate, thank you very much for speaking to us this morning. And it's worth...
just stressing that point. It's an expensive time of year in any year, but especially with all those other pressures on household budgets and places like this provide such an important and valuable service to so many at this really stressful and very expensive time. Absolutely.